Um, it, the reality of it is, is every survivor that, um, whether or not it be a parent or a child, they all experience different things. And as they start to live life now, they all experience things differently. The trauma um, associated, the PTSD associated with it, but also the survivor's guilt of, of being, why am I left behind? Or for some of our children, even seeing the lack of change in our country since that shooting, they have been working hard as advocates and even parents that have been working hard as advocates and still struggle at times every day to go, have things really changed? Are we still sitting in the same place when my child died? Um, for, for, for these parents continually seeing more tragedies happen, um, being reminded of the loss of their own child, which they don't have to be reminded about. They remember every day, but then they're, they are brought back into that moment. Um, when they see other tragedies happening, they meet other parents that have tragically lost their children in the same violent manner. Um, and so, it, it's hard because at, on the outside front, we, we want to say even with um, the families that have been tremendous advocates um, and have started things in their children's names, um, that we forget that they still live every day with that loss um, and, and that grief and, and that feeling of, can I get my world back? And that, and for victims of crime, and such as the victims at Parkland, they also feel that there's no one else outside of their circle that understands them. No one understood what it was like to be at that school except for their fellow classmates. And that can be very lonely, especially as they grow up, and especially as they leave high school and they leave their communities, they're surrounded by people that don't understand that trauma and when they went, what they went through.